Hi guys! Welcome to our tutorial part 3. And now I will teach you about reverse array. On how to reverse an array. So in reversing an array, we it's just like an array copy, but we we are not dealing with the Java method array copy. We will manually reverse the array. So in reversing an array, here we have uh, an array for in order array, and then and another array for displaying an reverse array. So we are dealing with two arrays that contains only one values or the same values but in two different order. So for example, we input in order In order is the order that how we input the values in the array. So this is how we input the array. And then in reverse, the second array or the reverse array at index 0 will get the value of the in order array at the last index which is 4 so here will become 5 and then 1 in reverse array index 1 will get the second to the last index value of the in order array which is 4 and then so on it's just like copying the values of the array but in reverse manner and now we have an in order array and a re in reverse array so how do we code a reverse and in order array so here we will only be dealing with one dimensional array so first we declare the size of our array So again, we use the final keyword here to set the size of our array as a constant 5. In declaring the size of our array, we can set it with final or without final. You can also set the size of our array using the user input. And then now we can set our array first array in order name it as array1 and then our array for reverse as array2 we'll also declare an index that we will be equal to the size that we will be using to reverse the value of our array so now we have to declare we have first to import a java method called scanner for getting a user input and then we declare a variable for our scanner so that every time we use a scanner, we will only be using this variable read in. And now we are all ready to set the values of our app. So we make a for loop that we condition less than to the size to the length of our array. Okay. 
So here we print a statement array CTR so that we will know that we are inputting at array CTR. We'll see that later. So here we use the variable read in because we are getting user input from the statement array CTR here and then in that next int method for storing the value of the user input to the variable array1 CTR and then we copy in reverse the values of the array CTR of the array one I mean. and then we have a new for loop here for copying in reverse the values of our array one in array two. And then here we use our variable indexed minus one because as you we, as we've done we equalized index to size so that index here is now equal to the size or five and five minus one is four. That's why we are inputting the value of array indexed for at array C array two CTR two or array two C index zero. Just like what we did here at index 4 is stored at array 2 at index 0. And now we are ready to print their values. See what really happened. So now we will be printing our array 1 in order. And then we print another statement in reverse order. And then also a for loop. For our array two printing, and there, if we run this, for example. Printed backwards five four three two one. So in reverse order, this will be one two three four five. Let's see. Oh, uh, sorry. I think we got wrong here.
So what happened is it prints only the values and hmm. oh, for sorry. You see we haven't decrement this part. So that index which is size will also decrease just like here there so if we run this again and there we have in order 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and in reverse order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this will be my last video tutorial Thank you guys!